Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Keto Granny. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, share, and comment. On this channel, I like to share um, ketogenic diet tips, low carb um, recipes, low carb tips for success, um, high protein, um, low carb. This is the way that I mainly eat, especially since losing 127 pounds. I gained a little bit of the weight back. Um, I believe it was like close to 40 pounds, but I almost have all of that off. I have about 20 more pounds to go, somewhere like that. But my goal is to be by the end of the year at 199 pounds. Yes, my goal is to be under 200 pounds. I haven't been under 200 pounds in so long. I don't remember when, but it has to be at least maybe 30, 40 years ago, something like that. So it would feel really, really nice, you know, for me to be able to get down to that. So how's everybody doing today? Today is Friday, Friday, November the 3rd, 2023. Now I am doing a keto cut and I have been on my keto cut now for about three days. At the end of the week, um, I will give you an update. So this is kind of like a, a short update, but it's only for three days. Next week, I'll be able to give you a full week update of how I did and the results and how everything came out. I started off on my keto cut weighing 235 pounds. Presently, I'm down to 233.2. So I've lost like a pound and a couple of ounces. So I'll take that. I'll take that. Yes, I will. But my scale also fluctuates. I had noticed that earlier this week, I had went up two pounds, up to 237 pounds. So I want to share with you on any weight loss journey that you do, your scale is going to fluctuate. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. So know that. Don't get discouraged. Sometimes you may have over a two or a three pound weight gain. Just know that that is okay because it can be from maybe food you ate, some information that you have going on in your body. It could be from some medications that you took. There are many, many factors that can come into play when your scale is fluctuating up and down every day. So me, myself, I am mostly sticking with the ketogenic diet. And when I say keto, I mean that I'm eating high protein. Um, I am aiming to eat like 100 to 133 uh, grams of protein um, daily. Now I am having to add in some protein supplements in order to do that. I'm going to pick some up from the store today. Um, and it would be some ISO plus. I have used ISO plus in the past. So this is what I'm going to be using this time. Also, I'm going to go by and stop and pick that up. I'll share it with you um, how I'm going to mix it up. A lot of times I used to use the ISO plus in my yogurt. Um, one of my friends, a uh, close, close friend gave me an idea of using the ISO plus and putting it in sugar free jello. Now, I use a lot of the sugar free jello um, in my uh, diet already. So that is something that uh, to me that sounds very, very good. So I will be putting ISO plus into my sugar-free jello also. I also like last night for dinner, I had uh, pork loin pork chops and I, I made myself three, but I only ate two and that was all protein. So that was what I aimed for last night. Very, very good and feeling meal. Now today I've already broke my fast. I think I had something like two slices of ham. Um, what is that? Uh, ham slices out of the refrigerator from the, like the package town. So I had a couple slices of that. And then there were some crackers on the table. So I had a couple of crackers um, with that ham. Now that's not keto. Those crackers weren't keto, but I did have a couple of crackers with that. Mm, good. So how are you breaking your fast this morning? So today I'm not really even counting myself like on a big, big fast because that was probably around 10 something this morning that I had um, that ham and those crackers. Um, I do have my diet plan that I am will be following especially a lot more this week because I really, really 
have to start um, losing and averaging something like about maybe three to four pounds a week if I want to be down um, to 199 or down under 200 by the end of the year this year. Like I said, that is my goal. Have you already set goals for yourself as far as um, if you're wanting to lose weight, um, if that's what your journey is about, or you're just wanting to lose inches, you're just wanting to feel better, or you just want to control your, you know, a, a certain disease process or something that's going on with your body. Um, do you want to um, better control your insulin? What are your your goals, or what are you wanting to accomplish with your healthy journey? I'm saying with your health journey. And if you are on a health journey, what type of a health journey are you on? Uh, a lot of people, their journey is not just about losing weight. My journey is not just about losing weight. I want to get healthier. I want to feel better. I want to be able to walk more. I want to be able to think better. And the ketogenic diet really does aim toward uh, making all of these things better. Um, so that is my goal. Um, I've decided to add in a little bit of vitamin D because the sun um, isn't out very much now. So that's going to help me um, also on uh, my journey. So I just wanted to hop on here just a moment just to say hello, chit chat for a moment and say just stick and stay focused. Uh-huh. <laughs>